Hepatitis C is a virus. It's a blood-borne virus that infects the liver. And there, it is unable to be eliminated by the host immune system and persists, making new copies of itself and damaging the liver cells. In response to that liver damage, the body reacts by creating scar tissue, or fibrosis. Over time, that fibrosis, when it becomes extensive, leads to a nodular, hard, unhealthy liver that we call cirrhosis. So when we think of the problems related with hepatitis C, it is not actually the virus itself that is the culprit, but the inflammation and then the scarring that that hepatitis C virus causes. Hepatitis B is a different virus from hepatitis C. Many of the differences aren't important to the general public, but are important in how they act and how we have to treat them. Hepatitis B is a virus that uses DNA rather than RNA as its structure, which makes it far more robust, far easier to persist, but at the same time more immunogenic, meaning that adults' immune systems seem to recognize this virus as foreign. And so 90 to 95 percent of adults who are exposed to hepatitis B will clear the virus on their own, as opposed to 15 percent or less for hepatitis C. The problem as a DNA virus is once it is established, it is impossible to cure because it is a DNA virus. And babies who are exposed to hepatitis B from their mothers, for example, have less than a 10 percent chance of clearing this virus, which is why the majority of hepatitis B transmission on a worldwide level is from parent to child. And the majority of hepatitis C transmission is adult to adult. Both hepatitis B and hepatitis C can lead to inflammation and eventually scarring or fibrosis and cirrhosis. Hepatitis actually just means liver inflammation and actually it's not restricted to simply hepatitis B and hepatitis C. Alcohol, toxins, many things that we can either ingest or infect our body can have that same pathway of inflammation, fibrosis, eventually cirrhosis, and once you have an established cirrhosis, that same inflammation and attempt at repair can lead to liver cancer. Hepatitis B is both a bloodborne and other bodily fluid virus, so it is passed predominantly through blood-to-blood -blood contact, through sharing of contaminated needles, or from the mother to the child during childbirth. It can also be passed sexually. Hepatitis C is a virus that is only present in the blood, and so it requires direct blood-to-blood -blood contact. It cannot be passed through casual contact, and is actually difficult to pass sexually because as an RNA virus it is very fragile and not very robust, but needs direct blood-to-blood -blood transmission which can occur through sharing needles, through contaminated instruments, or from anything in which blood is transmitted between two individuals.